High-resolution imaging of single synapses expressing a fast glutamate sensor allows the detection of local mismatch between transmitter release and uptake. In the case of the disease, this method can be used to identify dysfunctional synapses. For autofluorescence correction, first, place a brain slice from the mouse of interest into the recording chamber of a one-photon microscope. Submerge the slice in oxygenized artificial cerebrospinal fluid and use the 20x water immersion objective to locate the dorsal striatum. Fix the slices with a nylon grid on a platinum harp to minimize the tissue movement and switch to the 63x water immersion objective. Using a high-pass filter at 510 nanometers, acquire an image of the autofluorescent and glutamate sensor positive structures together. Using a high-pass filter at 600 nanometers, acquire a second image of the autofluorescent structures alone. To define the range, Use the mean intensities of the 10 brightest and 10 darkest pixels to scale the red and yellow images. Then, perform a subtraction of the yellow minus red image and rescale the subtracted image to generate a standard 8-bit TIFF file for convenient visualization of the Bhutan of interest. To perform a search for responsive Bhutans, you need a suitable glass micropipette for electrical stimulation. Use a micro